awesome giveaways on sensory toys, educational tools, and kid products all in one spot. This is Sensory Deal Live. Hey y'all, Angela here. Welcome to Sensory Deal, the show that's all about exploring the world of sensory products to help you and your kiddos live your best life. Last week, we celebrated Teacher Appreciation Day. Again, thank you to all the amazing teachers, therapists, therapy assistants, coaches, and homeschooling parents. We appreciate all your dedication and passion for teaching our kiddos. And while teacher appreciation is only one day, know that we appreciate you guys all year round. Well, here at Lockie Kid and Sensory Deal Live, we're extending the celebration. We have our Teacher Appreciation Week sale going on still, so all the teachers, homeschoolers, and therapists can get Lockie Kid, Handy Things, and Hedgehog Health products at great discounts. But you might be wondering what products match my kiddos' needs the most, or what would work in my classroom or therapy sessions? Or just like me, what is the best to work with my kids homeschooling at the, in the homeschooling setting? Well, today's episode is exactly that. We will be talking about sensory and educational tools for classroom homeschooling and therapy. Before we get into it, we want to welcome all of you all, the audience. Hey guys, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us today. We are so excited you're here with us this evening. Please feel free to comment or send any questions you may have our way. We'd love to hear from you. If you're going to be watching the replay later, please comment hashtag replay and feel free to still send any questions you may have. We will still respond. All right. So what is awesome about these, um, these specials that we have right now is we have some really awesome bundles. So the first bundle is the Calming Corner Kit. Now, for those of you that are still new and learning um, what common corners are and sensory um, type of things, a common corner is a calm down. A calm down corner is designed is a de uh, sorry is a designated space in the home, in the classroom, or even a therapy room. It is the sole intention of being a safe space for your child to go when they feel like their emotions are running too high or they just need to regain their emotional or physical control. So first thing up we have with our Calm Down Corner Kit is we have the Fidget Marble Maze. And this is the 1.0. This is the one that comes in the kit. Now we also have a 2.0. It just will not come in the kit, but this is our 2.0. So if you have a lackey kid veteran who has mastered and tackled this, well, we have a nice upgrade for them. So it's twice the size and twice the fun. So back to the common corner kit, the fidget marble maze provides sensory sim uh, stimulation, also improves focus and concentration, super portable, great for on the go, even fits in a pocket. And big thing that I have learned through the testing center side, because of course I bet everybody's state testing. So, I mean, if you are done with state testing, let me know. Cause I just finished this week with my daughter. <laughs> so yay, summer's coming, right? Um, so this is a silent fidget. So this is testing center approved. Um, so this is something, if you have a 504 plan or any other plan like that in the school board, this is a good go-to. We also have, where's my, there it is. One second, I dropped it on accident. <laughs> All right, the second big go-to that I use with my kids that is in this calm down corner kit is our fidget bubble poppers. Now, what we love about these is it, it provides the sensory stimulation. It's also educational. I know you probably can't see it, but there's actually the alphabet on here. So like with my seven-year-old, we do basic um, two letter words, or I mean three letter words. So stuff that's not duplicated and he'll actually spell them on the poppers. 
my uh, two-year-old, he's already got one through 10 down memorized. So now we're working on the alphabet. So this is great for him because as he pops them, he says the alphabet. So that helps with memorization. Um, it also helps reduce fidgeting because um, like right now I'm fidgeting. <laughs> Didn't even realize it. So with these, it helps you fidget less. Um, so you're focusing more on this and then staring straight ahead and focusing on the task at hand. So we, the uh, fidget bubble poppers do come in a two pack, it has these two colors. It is food grade safe silicone. So if you have a chewer, it's okay. It's not toxic, crazy chemicals in here. We've made them safely. Um, and the big thing, these are like my two secret weapons. I have one popper each for my kid in the car. I also have one popper each for the kids in their rooms. Um, if we go to a restaurant, these are my secret weapon. Same thing with the marble mazes. We have one for each kid, whether we're in a long line, say at a theme park or sitting down at a restaurant and their phones are dead because mama don't want to charge it if you drain your juice. <laughs> and um, so these are my these are my go to's. I always have at least three because I have three kids. So I always have these on hand. Um, I These are my go to's. I mean, if I could give these away like hotcakes. To everyone I meet, like I would, but I can't. <laughs> so these are basically my secret weapons on my daily use. Um, these are awesome for just even if, say, long car rides. You know what I mean? These are easy to throw in a diaper bag if you're out and about. Um, it doesn't take up much room. And it's just an easy toy to give your kids that you don't have to worry about you know, them losing it. Cause you can't, you can't forget this on a table. <laughs> like I love how it's such bright patterns. You can't forget these on a table at a restaurant. You know, they will definitely stand out. So next in this kit that we have for the calming corner, it is going to be the weighted neck pillow. So this bad boy, which I love and my kids love my son. This is one of my son's favorites to take on travels. Like if we're going on a long car ride, super portable, not too much weight. You can stick in the backpack and my seven-year-old can still carry it around. Um, so it just sits there. You just relax, lay back. And it does this deep pressure stimulation. So it kind of like makes you feel like you're grounded and you're coming, coming back, like centered. Uh, it provides the calming deep touch. It also provides the sensory stimulation and provides uh, improves focus and concentration. So this one is a big one that I use. Say if my kids are going to a new doctor and they're super anxious because they don't know the doctor, they don't know what they're really going there for. So this helps reduce that stress and anxiety. Um, super cute to sit there and your calming corner and read a book uh, or play a game, what have you, whatever is in your calming corner. We let our kids create our, their own calming corners. We, of course, assist, um, but we want to keep the kids involved so they want to go there. So this is the animal weighted neck pillow. Super easy to clean, too. Um, it's got this awesome little zipper here so you can take it out. It also has little pockets, so these are evenly distributed, so the weight is not going to lops over to one side like some weighted blankets I have had in the past. <laughs> um, so this is a little neck pillow. Oh, we have a comment. Facebook user says it's too cute. Mine created their own corner too. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, we definitely love when the kids get creative with theirs. I know it was big for my son to create his and be involved. My daughter, she's a pro at it. Um, we don't have a big area for her. So she actually has like this makeshift one on her bed. We give her this little tent. She puts it over the bed and she creates her own calming corner. So we are going to go to the next weighted item that is in the calming corner kit, which is my daughter's favorite. Uh, this is her go-to for driving for long car rides. 
We love it because it's mess free. And it is the right and chill. All right. Let me get this bad boy out. Okay. So, super portable, easy to clean, mess free, everyone. If you have a very creative kid that loves to draw, it can just fold up real easy. And you could take it with you. It has a water pen. So, this is the mess free part. And it actually has a little area right here. So when you roll it up, doo -doo -doo. there we go. When you roll it up, it hangs there. So you don't really have to, well, it's supposed to hang there. It, you hold it here. So you don't have to worry about losing it. It stays with the kit. All right. I will do some drawing so you guys can see it in action. All righty. So this has, this is our newer version. I know that you will see some pictures of the uh, 1.0, which is all rainbow. Facebook user says, I love the watercolor pads. I do too. This is our write-in show. It was specially made for Culture City, which we love. So this is the blue corner. So it is in four different parts. So this is the blue area. This is the red. This is green, and this is like an orangey. So let me get it up closer for you guys. Sorry for my kitty doodles. All right, and then if they use this whole side, flip it over, and guess what? Whole new side. My daughter loves this. She will draw like crazy. Um, endless fun for her, for sure. My two-year-old wants one now because he's been using sissies. Um, so the weighted items, we are still slowly, <laughs> slowly accumulating for all of our kids. Um, so this is one that my daughter really wanted for her birthday. Let me color some of these areas so you can see some cool little designs that they have on these sides. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so down here we have half a watch and the other half is actually on the other side. Then we have. I want to remember what that is. I think it's a key. And then the half circle. Then there's also on the other side. Let's color it so you can see it. We have some numbers. So this is awesome because you can also use it to help your kids, whether it's drawing and tracing the numbers or just saying, learning their numbers. Like for my two-year-old, he can count one to 10. So he can see that what what number it is so here is some of the numbers so of course you can trace it and you don't have to just color it all right and then if they're done with both sides lay down in the sun if you're like me in florida it is easy to get this thing dry <laughs> very quick out in the sun I believe I covered all of that. Super durable. My son has had his for about two years. Honestly, the only thing we have had to replace is one pen out of the two years. So, I mean, it's pretty durable. And my son is heavy handed. So, like, he kept pushing on this. So, I mean, it, you know, it lived up for two years <laughs> with my son. Um, so, the water pen is a little different. So, let me tell you that before I forget. Oh, sorry, I missed some comments. Okay, so we have um, the weighted neck pet is super cute too. It is, I agree. <laughs> and it's Michelle. Hey girl, I don't know why it doesn't show your name, but I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> it says, um, my Facebook user again, I've been working doubles and haven't fixed, haven't fixed it yet. It's okay. You can get to it. <laughs> There's still time. Uh, when trying to shop yesterday for deals, they were out of stock of what I wanted. Oh, well, message us what you're interested in, and then we can see what's going on. So with the pen, it doesn't do the normal um, clockwise when it comes to turning. You actually have to do counterclockwise. Blah. 
and then it opens. Now, the reason why we do that is not to trick you guys or to accidentally break the pins, because I know I used to vigorously try to go the other way to force it to work. Um, it is basically so when you have your, your kiddos that are a little bit better at twisting things, um, they don't accidentally open it and then spill all the water out. So that's why we do it the opposite way kind of like a kid safety measure um but also if they do put it on the floor it is water luckily it's not going to be a melted crayon or an exploded pen or even the um the the markers like they just forget to put it you know what i mean they just stick it right there on the couch they forget to put it put the top on and it just starts absorbing into the couch been there three kids <laughs> Alrighty, so I believe I covered the calming corner kit. Um, all of these things are great for a calming corner. It is also great for a starter kit when it comes to um, just in general. Maybe you're a um, therapist that you know wants to get stuff, but you have so many different kids you see every day. So of course everything is different for each kid. This is a nice little kit because you have a little bit of everything. And then you can test and see what works best for your kiddos, whether it is a therapist. Um, me, I'm a mom of three. So for me, this is awesome because not only is it just a good calming corner starter kit, it's also good to try with all of my kids to see what works best before I start buying multiples. Because that's honestly what I've had to do um, with my journey is buy one product if both kids seem to constantly want that same toy or tool then you know we start saving up and we get another one so that's something that we have definitely been doing over the years now this uh, this kit also comes with something pretty cool it is a printable and i will show you what my project i was starting and of course mom life happened and it had to pause but we have sorry we have a printable guide to help you with your children um, to identify emotions and to use calming strategies to manage their big feelings. So there's going to be a few things in here. This is just like the hardcover. What I did is put it in a um, sleeve, plastic sleeve to protect it. I put some tape right here so it won't fall out if the kids take it off of the wall or what have you. Um, now these all have pairings. So this is the I feel. What I was going to do is laminate these two, which this is the I feel charts. So it tells different feelings and emotions. And then this one is the I will chart. So it'll be things to do um, in you know, to get their minds off of it. So it would be the, I will listen to music. So to calm down in your calming corner, he wants to listen to music. Um, doing yoga, uh, getting a drink of water. I know for my daughter, water for some reason is like her secret power. Like it'll help her calm down. Um, it, you know, if she is feeling too anxious, she drinks water helps her chill out a little bit. So this is the I feel. So my whole point was I'm going to, I want to laminate these and cut them out. Then put a Velcro at the back of each square um, and then put it in a little baggie or um, in a basket. So then when they need to go to their calming corner, you use the I feel, the I feel side. And then there's also an I will chart that's just like this. And then they can put their emotions and what they feel. This one says, place the emotion card here. Um, so of course they can have more than one emotion. So there's two. So that is the two charts that come in this kit. And then it also has this calm down corner. So this is basically gonna explain calm down corners, um, give you a good little guide of things to look for for your calm down corner. Um, and then also just a little a little picture of what one was at a teacher's um, therapy office. Uh, so, I mean, it gives you good little things. We also have some really cute ideas and stuff off Pinterest. Um, but this is just an awesome kit 
that helps with the calming corner kit. So this is super to help set you up for success and to help get that calming corner created and make it enjoyable for you and your kiddos. The next bundles that we have is the, and also anybody that has experience with any of the products that we list today or anything that's on sale, please let us know your experience with it. Let us know if, say, you use the wiggle seat, your child uses the wiggle seat a little different than I say. Let me know because we are still learning and growing on ours. Um, so anything to help keep our flexible seating interesting for the kids, I'd love to hear some hacks and tips as well from you guys, um, as I would hope you guys would like to hear mine too. <laughs> so flexible seating, um, for some of you that may not know, flexible seating is simply put, is to practice of allowing and providing many seating options for your students in school and for your kiddos at home. This means it could be different type of seating options, whether it is the balance ball chair, a regular chair, a couch, a bed, a stool, a wiggle seat. It really is endless. Um, a little cushion, a little pillow. You know, um, this also is means to give the student the freedom to choose. So the whole concept is they chose to sit here. So then they will be more likely to sit longer and focus longer because it was their decision. It was their choice. Um, instead of you saying, go sit there. No, I don't care. Go sit there. They're not going to want to focus in that area because they didn't get to choose. At least if they get to choose where they sit, it'll be more enjoyable as a learning experience for you and your kiddo, but it also will be enjoyable for the kid, for your child to just absorb and focus and concentrate more on whatever activity you guys are focusing on at that time. Same thing for OT therapists or even speech therapists, anyone in the therapy world, uh, you let your client pick where they sit, they're most likely to sit there comfortably for longer um, and then have more of an enjoyable experience with you in the office. So first off with the flexible seating is going to be the fidget chair bands. Uh, just like my dual sequel secret weapon over here. Um, I also have one of these in my backpack, my diaper bag, wherever we go. Um, we've had to travel and my kids have had to do school. Um, glory of having, you know, virtual learning. They can learn while we're on the road too, you know, just need some hotspot. So I actually brought one with me for my daughter because she had to finish school, but we were having a trip. So she still had to do school. <laughs> so with this, it actually fit on the chair at our hotel. So instead of her running up and down the hallway or, you know, stomping or whatever, she was able to focus and have this on. Now these are latex free, super durable. I've only had to replace these um, not very often. The main thing with my son is they curl and roll because he's so <laughs> he's so rough with them. So with him, I do have to change them a little bit more. But with my daughter, they last a lifetime. So super stretchy, super durable. We have two colors. This is our black one. Same. I actually normally have this one on my chair. Um, this one's mine. Um, so sometimes I actually will be fidgeting myself when I'm on a Facebook Live and obviously not presenting them. But so these are our fidget chair bands. Uh, Tina says, I sent a message on Messenger. Okay, awesome. We will get back to you with that um, and answer your questions. Um, I want to say this is Michelle because it's Facebook user. It says it is definitely helpful advice for me. Thank you. Oh, you're awesome. All right. So we're going to go to some more of the flexible seating. Now, the wiggle seat, what I love about the wiggle seat is it is a silent fidget. So this is another tester center friendly um, type of thing if you have a 504 plan or any type of plan for your kiddos when they have testing. It has two different sides. So let's get a good angle. Okay, so this is more of the bumpy 
spiky side. You can sit on this side as well as the other. So it is versatile. It all depends on what your child is sensory seeking when it comes to textures. So this is more of a lightly bump type. And what's awesome is all of our flexible seating come with a pump. So this one will come with this pump and it actually has the um, attachment to it as well. So what I like about this is because it's there, you can shake it, it's not gonna fall. So you can take this in the backpack and take it with you when you're traveling, take it with you for a testing center, school, it'll fit in the backpack for school. You don't have to deflate it. So this is the wiggle seat. Let me show you the other color. Just like the fidget chair band, we also have it in a different color. We have it in black. And I have actually learned from Jason recently that um, you can stand on these. So we are now starting to do a little bit of kind of learning yoga, learning balance more, center, you know, center, centering yourself because my kids want to learn how to ride bikes. Kind of hard if you don't have balance. So you can stand on this and you can um, also get, find your center of gravity there. You can sit down on it crisscross applesauce and then balance and find your center of gravity as well. Again, if they prefer the more spikier side because they're seeking that type of texture, we've got that. It is round. So if say your child is sitting there um, at school, they can grab this and it is still more of a sensory because you can just kind of stroke it and get that sensory input at the same time. That is our wiggle seat. Um, then we have the balance ball chair. I'm going to back up a little bit because this is big so you can see it. Um, we have one for each kid. Jace actually got his this year. <laughs> it's a lot smaller. I don't inflate it as big. Um, so this is our balance ball chair. Um, what my son likes to do is sit this way and hold on here, and then he'll actually bounce up and down the hallway. Lovely. He hasn't hit his head yet, so we're good. Um, and then also if he's sitting there watching TV and he's bouncing a little crazy, he'll stand this way. He'll have it this way when he's bouncing, so then he has more of a, of a grasp. We have this in the blue as well. I couldn't take my sons to give you the blue feature of what it looks like because he's currently bouncing on it, watching TV or playing Minecraft, but he's, <laughs> he's using this. Um, so that is the ball chair. Now I have traveled with the ball chair. You of course have to deflate it um, for it to work, but it fits in a backpack. So you deflate it. It comes with, of course, the pump because lucky kid thinks of everything for you guys. So it comes with the pump. It also comes with this two prong um, part where you can take the plug out. If you lose that, I have carefully used a fork because <laughs> I just did not have time to dig for it. But um, it comes with a really cool plastic uh, fork like thing to take out the plug. Um, so this does fold up, does fit in a backpack. I've taken it to grandparents' houses might not want to take it to a hotel if you're on the second floor or third because below you will hear it and probably go cuckoo for cocoa puffs um but if you're at a grandparent's house um or if you know you're just traveling your kid has extra energy let them bounce on the ball we have taken the balance ball chair with us my son uses the balance ball chair like an appendage and <laughs> he's always on it he is always sitting there um, on his class connects doing the same thing, you know, so it's definitely a go to for my son. My daughter loves it because she does with the flexible seating. She's got the uh, regular chair with her wiggle seat and her leg bands, her leg. Yeah, her chair bands. And then she has the balance ball and then she also has her bed. Um and that's pretty much the, the flexible seating setup we have with her. Uh, she does have a little bench over by her piano. So, I mean, 
She hasn't used it yet, but that's another option. <laughs> My son, he's got a few different things as well. He's got the same setup with her as the regular chair setup and then the balance ball. He also has a gaming computer chair so he can swivel. Um, so, and then he's got his calming corner, which has a little, uh, a little cot, like a, we take it with us to travel when we go to grandparents' houses because the kids can't sleep next to each other. They'll be up all night. <laughs> I know some people probably have that as well. Um, so that is, that is, uh, his little setup as well. Um, so all of these, all of the flexible seating improve and improve focus and concentration. They promote good posture, uh, which is a big thing. Uh, I know I wish I learned my posture a little bit better and it was enforced when I was a kid because, of course, as we get older, you can't fix it as easily. Um, so I like the fact that it helps make my kids a little bit more aware of their sitting position to help with that posture. And it's active seating. Um they can move around. Say they only sit on one for 15 minutes. If they're working and concentrating for that 15 minutes, it's a win. You know, if if they bounce around every 15 minutes to a different chair and they're still working, it's a win. It, it all depends on the child and what the child needs to help with their focus and concentration. Sorry, I have missed some of these. It says... I want to say it's Michelle. Uh, sweet. I love uh, to build in. I love built in needle attachment holder. Yes, it is super, super easy. I love the fact that I can take it anywhere I go. I don't have to worry about where did I lose it. You don't have to worry about if you stick it on here and forget it, that it's going to break. It is always there for you. I really thought that was nifty. And honestly, <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. I didn't know the holes were there <laughs> for like the first six months. <laughs> so holes, I gave you a hack right there. There's a hole and that's where it stays. <laughs> so this trio, um, really you can use anywhere. Uh, it's that you can travel with all of them. Easy, clean, get a damp rag, wipe it down, Lysol wipe, wipe it down. So it's good for in a classroom setting because it's a quick, easy clean. Um, if multiple other kids are using one, say you only have one or two, because um, we do have more of a teacher-ish set that has, I want to say, 10 fidget chair bands, um, then it is two wiggle seats and two balance balls ball chairs. So that's a nice little, you know, small classroom set just to get started. Um, and that is also on sale. So these are easy cleans. All you do is get a damp cloth, get a Lysol wipe, what have you, whatever you use in your classroom settings or at home, clean them up, and then they are ready to use for the next student or the next child you have. Um, I have See, Michelle says, I have to get that balance ball chair ASAP. It really is a godsend, especially if you have high energy, like naturally high energy children. My son, Skylar, is seven. He, ever since he was little, he runs up and down the hallway. He is constantly jumping, you know, moving from one side of the room to the other, running around the backyard like no sugar. I don't give him soda. He does not like the carbonation. Like, so, you know, natural energy and it just helps to regulate. So instead of him walking and running up and down the hallways or running around the house, you know, risking somebody getting hurt, he's sitting there watching TV or, or playing his Minecraft on PlayStation, just bouncing away. And he gets like, he will sit there for, I'm not even kidding, an hour or two at a time, just bouncing. And I don't know where he has the energy. I wish I could feed off of it <laughs> and absorb all that natural energy. Um, but we haven't figured out how to bottle that yet. So <laughs> that's that's one thing that I can definitely say. The balance ball chair has been a godsend. I would recommend that to anybody, whether it's flexible seating or whether you have a very naturally high energy kid. That is just one go to that has been a lifesaver for us. Uh, we have another comment that says, yes, my son moves nonstop in the classroom. And so he uses different things to help. He is in, it's in his IEP. Yes, just like the, the 504 plan, there's also IEPs. Um, 
these things are great to put in there. And if it's a classroom setting and you've got, you know, you've got to be careful on if something makes too much noise, we have something for you. Um, it definitely a wide range. I had to learn this year what was a silent fidget and what wasn't. So I knew what was approved for my daughter during testing. Um, so I was, I was super excited to know that Lackey kid was able to be there to help support my kid while she was doing testing because she was super nervous. Um, let's see. Yes, the wiggle seat fits in the backpack. I believe I said that, but again, super easy to portable, super portable, easy to travel with. It's not heavy, so you're not feeling like your kid's getting weighed down carrying around the wiggle seat. Um, we are going to cut to a video real quick, and then we will see you soon. Major, major benefits of active seating is their focus and their behavior in the classroom or at home. Um, kids are actually able to focus better when they're able to move. So this is the wiggle seat by Lackey Kid. And this is just a little bit extra kind of wiggle. Um, so yeah, they can still do handwriting and all that seated work that they're supposed to do. Uh, Lackey Kids really helped us uh, allow our teachers to concentrate on helping our students education. And I say that because Lackey Kid products really help our physiological needs of our students be met. Um, if a child needs to sit on a bouncy ball, if a child needs to have some feedback and they sit on a, a cushion that gives them sort of some tactile feedback, or you have a rubber band on the desk that allows our kids to move their feet as they're working, they're then able to concentrate on the task at hand. The task at hand is, is educating the whole child. Hey everyone, welcome back. So I just wanted to review, we have gone over our awesome Calm Down Corner kit that we have on sale right now. Um, super awesome bundle kit, great starter. Then we have two different flexible seatings. Uh, we have the one that's more closer for teachers and classroom settings or even therapy settings that have 10 of the fidget chair bands and two of each of the wiggle seat and the balance ball chair. We also have a smaller kit, especially if it's like stay at home, you know, we have, it is two fidget chair bands and it is one wiggle seat and one balance ball, balance ball chair. Um, so that one was like the first big flexible seating kit that I honestly got. Um, I started off with fine motor, uh with the fine motor products and then we started going on to the flexible seating and it grew from there because of course with flexible seating it worked for both of my kids and i had them both at home so i had to get two i had to get two of everything with the flexible seating so that was one thing i had to get pretty quick especially with them being at home with me during covid so we went over flexible the seating products we went over the calm down corner products now we're going to shift a little bit more um, don't forget we also have the 2.0 fidget marble maze so if you do have a veteran lackey kid marble maze from the 1.0 we have that upgrade for you guys also on the website it just doesn't come in that one kit so right now we're going to talk about the weighted lap animal this is the lap pad Again, just like the neck pillow, he has an awesome zipper. We actually have the weights in the feet as well. The other one did not. It was just the head was a the head was the plush toy. So we have weight in these feet. It is evenly distributed as well, just like the neck pillow in little squares. Let's see if I can. There you go. Um, so this is an easy clean, super fuzzy and soft, guys. Um, what I love is it's more of a non-shedding, so he doesn't really shed as much. Let me turn this down a little bit more so you can see. They definitely thought of these awesome details when creating this bad guy. So his head, excuse me, his head is all stuffed animal, and everything else is weighted. And then... He has the cute back, and then these are little patches. 
Another super easy clean. Um, the weighted lap pad helps your child stay calm and focused. So if you have a high anxiety child, this is one that is perfect. My daughter loves to just chill and watch TV and have the weighted animal, whether it's on her stomach or on her legs. Um, she also loves to read with him as well. So she'll take him outside and read. Um, he's very portable. Super. It's so much easier to handle when it's a lap pad compared to a blanket, especially when traveling and when you have kids. You're definitely always on the go. So this is another great one that you can travel with. And it's not going to be like this bulky thing in your vehicle. Um, your child will probably carry it everywhere it go, like everywhere they go. So you really don't have to worry about, oh, I brought this heavy thing and my child doesn't use it. Your child will use it. I promise you. He is a little, he's one of the bigger ones that we have. So get back a little bit. So that's how long he is. And both of my kids have one. Um, Skylar will sit there and watch TV, mostly with his. He uses um, his, his lap pad as well in his calming corner when he is angry, um, just overwhelmed with emotions when it comes to, of course, Minecraft game because somebody killed him or, you know, blew up his his building. So if he gets mad and he needs to take a chill pill, this, this guy loves to cuddle with him. Also, when he got sick, he doesn't like his nebulizer. So I definitely used it to help keep him sitting for longer. So when he had a nebulizer breathing treatment, he was laying there. He, he stayed, he sat there better. He um, normally cannot sit for more than 10 minutes. I got him to sit for about 17. So that was a win in my book. It wasn't too much more, but it was still a win in my book because I was able to get that breathing treatment in him for a longer period than off on, off on. So this is our weighted lap animal. All right. Now we are going to go into hoglet territory and handy things. I Love these companies. Um, they are super awesome. So let me get these bad boys out. All right. Okay. First up is going to be the Hoglet Fidget Mouse by Hedgehog Health. And if anyone has watched our shows, they know I'm obsessed with the hedgehog. <laughs> um, we actually have three. So this one is the green. It's like more of a lime green. This is mine. This is a lime green one. Now what's awesome with these is it is an easy plug-in. So let me get this. So you just open this up. The plug and play adapters right here. You just take that out. It comes with batteries, parents. I love, the, I know it's just the littlest things <laughs> that make us so giddy. So when I saw that I didn't have to go hunt in a drawer for batteries, I was so giddy. Okay. So <laughs> it comes with the two batteries. It has the easy plug and play. You don't have to worry about installing and downloading drivers and all that stuff. I'm not a techie. That's what my husband's for. So I love that I was a little bit more independent because I just had to put my USB in there, turn it on, and it was good to go. I love that it does time out after a while, so it helps save the battery. If it's sitting for idle for too long, it'll just shut off. So all you have to do is one little click. It'll wake it right up, and then you can use it. There is no lag on these um, they did really good when it comes to precision there. I did not, I have not seen or noticed a lag at all. So they just come off. This is the watermelon, watermelon pink. So it just comes off. You can wash this in the dishwasher on the top shelf. I wouldn't advise putting it at the bottom because of course that's where the hot heating elements are. Um, but dishwasher safe, or if you want, you can put it in the sink, clean it like that. Um, I use the dishwasher on the top shelf and then you just stick that sleeve back on and you're good to go. Then we also have the blueberry, which is one of the originals. My son loves the fact that his mini keychain matches. <laughs> so my daughter's like, I wish they had pink. I was like, well, they just, 
they just came out with them. So let's see <laughs> what happens later on in life, right? Um, so these are the Hedgehog Fidget computer mouse. Wireless, so you don't have to worry about that fuss. These are longer spikes on the sides. And it is a quiet click. Uh, there we go. So this is another one of those silent fidget tools that is approved for testing centers. So my daughter was super giddy that she could bring her hoglet with her because um, they do use computers in the testing center. So this, these are the hoglets. We also have a purple lavender type of color and we have a, it is more like a yellowish orange. Super cute, super bright, vibrant, um, colorful. I really wish I could just collect all the sleeves <laughs> so I can change them with my moods, you know, <laughs> like a mood ring. Um, but these are our three, my kiddos and me. My uh, mother-in-law bought one um, that my kid's godmother wants one so bad. So, I mean, these are super addicting, super awesome. They're easy to use with any computer so your child can take it with them to school especially if they have a computer class because everything of course is digital nowadays um quick easy put it in the backpack um then it is also great for offices if you are an adult in an office setting using your computer all the time this is great to just have uh, especially if you're high anxiety you fidget a lot it's kind of like a hidden uh, fidget, you know what I mean? They just think it's a cool, <laughs> a cool, um, a cool computer mouse, mouse that they have not, you know, they haven't seen it yet. Um, so yeah, definitely super cool. Now the, these provide sensory stimulation, they improve focus and concentration, and they relieve stress while working in front of a computer. Now say you aren't in a computer area, so you don't, you, you can't use one of these. Well, they figured that one out. Um, Hedgehog Health definitely did awesome with these. When you order them, they come in a two-pack. So it comes in a two-pack. They only have it in blue right now. We have a few Facebook users said bunch of hearts. Um, definitely love the hoglets. Um, uh, oh, I love that. I need to get that hoglet. Yes, the hoglets are awesome. I was super excited about them. Um, and then, of course, once my kids uh, got theirs and I got to test theirs out, I had to have one as well. Um, so these are super portable. I actually put a carabine on ours because um, my kids like to take them on and off, which is also bad because then they can lose them. <laughs> so definitely keep track of your mini hoglets. I also had to put kids initials on the back so we know who's for who's. So mine I put on my diaper bag. Um, it's the little tiny diaper bag I use when we go out and about so that I always have one to fidget with. These are awesome in pockets. So it's a nice little secret weapon. Say if you're middle school, high school, don't really know, want everybody to know that, you know, you fidget or, you know, what your diagnosis is, then you can use this in your pocket, in your jacket, and you can fidget with it quietly and discreetly without any big fuss with the school or your, your friends. Um, my kids, what we do with theirs, and I saw this on the Hedgehog Health website. So this was one of those pictures I saw and I was like, oh, why didn't I think of that? So on the backpack straps, my daughter has these loops right here on the straps. So I strap hers there. So then when she's walking around, she can do this. If she is sitting at the testing center and her backpack is on the back of her chair, it'll be right there for her to fidget with. So she doesn't have to get up. She doesn't have to go in the backpack because when you do that, you obviously have to raise your hand so they know that you're not cheating and that you are getting a fidget. Um, so with that, that helped her not have to worry about asking and feeling like she's bothering somebody when that, you know, that's their job is supposed to help you. So that's where we put it for my daughter. My son's actually goes in that plastic clasp on the band on the uh, backpack straps that connect it because he's a little smaller. So he puts it right there. We won't lose it because he can't take it off. I do not give him the carabine. I don't want him to lose it. 
He also loves to use it in class. He'll just sit there um, and use it in class as well. I love that it's kind of like a worry stone, kind of in a way, because it's small. And you can just sit there and it fits perfectly in your hand. You don't have to worry about it being too bulky. You don't have to worry about it being, you know, too small either because it's the perfect size. And it fits perfectly in a kid's hand or even an adult's hand. Um, so you got that little, you know, that little hoglet with you wherever you go. I've also, what I love about the two-pack uh, way when, uh, how they how they sell them, the two-pack is the fact that I have three kids. So including me, that's four people. So we just had to buy two, just two packets, and we got four of them, and everyone got one. We just had to put, like, like names on them so we know whose was whose, so no one fought over something, and we could keep track. The the mini keychain has all the same um, all the same benefits, the sensory stimulation, focus and concentration. This one is super awesome for on the go, super portable, super discreet. Um, and overall, they're just durable products. They're easy, clean. They're durable. They're safe for kids if you got chewers, you know. So these are awesome. Definitely hedgehog health is a huge huge go-to as well just of course like locky kid but it's another one of my favorites that all all three of us my kids and me even my two-year-old we all love hedgehog health products we love all of the locky kid products um and then we also have the next um set which is handy things handy things is super awesome let me get this for you just one second And another thing, which is just a cool, I got this at Dollar Tree, so you don't have to go crazy when it comes to spending on your kids' calming corners. I grabbed two of these little caddies at Dollar Tree, and this is where we put our fidget tools for our kids. So everything fits perfectly in here. It's So if, say, flexible seating-wise, my daughter wants to go from her desk to her bed, she just has to pick this up and take it with her. She doesn't have to worry about it being all over the floor. If she needs something, she doesn't have to look for 30 minutes trying to find something in the closet because it is all right here for her to, at her beck and call. You know, easy access. Um, so that's one thing I have grown to learn is just little tiny compartments organization to help with organization because of course kids want to play with them everywhere so then of course they tend to get lost or stuck in a corner somewhere all right so the handy writer from handy things is super cool my son was having issues with his um with his writing aids the writing aids we have pot we have purchased in the past were too bulky they hurt his fingers. It was more, it was uncomfortable. It wasn't any more comfortable to help with his writing position um, for his proper hands. So Handy Things came out with, I have the sports writers. They also have another um, set that has dolphins. Um, so this one is the sports writer. This is our four pack. And let me get up close. So this is the charm. And we have the basketball, the soccer ball, Ooh, got tangled, the football, and I had another one, and I think my son has it in his backpack. So, and then there's another one. It is the baseball, the baseball one, which is a red. So this is how you use it. Do I have a pen? Yes, I do. Okay. So you put the big part, the bigger loop on your wrist, which is super comfy. It is stretchy, not restricting, not itchy. That's the other thing. My son cannot do the itchy, cannot do the itchy at all. So he loved the fact that it does not itch. It doesn't restrict, super stretchy. You put the charm in your hand that helps with the grip. And you put the pen or the pencil in the smaller loop and then it helps you form that proper pen or pencil grasp because you're putting your 
You're grabbing the last three hands with the charm because you want to keep that charm together. And it just helps with a proper form. Now, if any kid, anyone has kids in OT, you know, like handwriting and proper handwriting position is super hard, super, super hard for littler kids to do. Um, so this helps leave it comfortable because you don't have something big and bulky here to help with the grasp. You let your hands naturally do the grasp, but you still have a supporting aid. Mercedes says, that's awesome. Great if you, great if it gets itchy, it's a no-go here too. Glad to hear it's comfortable. Yes, my son, when I bought these for him, I was like, you got to try this out. Once he knew what it was, he did not honestly want to even test it out. He was like, I don't want it, mom. I said, please use it for five minutes. Tell me if it's comfy or not. And if it's not, I'll return it because we have spent so much money on writing aids that he did not like that he got really discouraged on even wanting to try anything new, but he's in OT. So he needs something. So we, we were really at our wits end. So this was another one of those godsends, um, honestly, that we have found in the lackey kids sensory deal world. This is the black one. Again, they're all super stretchy. It helps with that tripod grip the proper tripod and it reduces the writing anxiety. It helps with the pencil grip, the correct pencil grip, and it helps pr improve fine motor skills. So this is great for OT therapists. If you're a speech therapist or anything that a child needs to write and you know, they might have problems. This is another great tool to use because any tools that help the kiddos, not have to dread it because like my son dreaded it. So now he doesn't dread having to use it when he has handwriting. So that was definitely handy things. The handy writers are awesome. This is going to be the handy things hand weight. This size, let me see. This is a size small. Um, it is for my son. Oop, Mercedes said, yes, we've tried three with no luck so far. So this sounds a lot better than the ones that we've tried. They look fun to which they look fun too, which is a big deal. Yes, because of course, if it looks bulky and scary and boring, your child is probably less likely to want to try it, especially if they have a bad experience with other previous aids. Um, because the writing aids that we have tried in the past, they were no fun. So, of course, the fact that, you know, it's got a theme. Like, my daughter loves dolphins. So, of course, if she was younger and she needed one, the dolphins would be the way to go for a girl. If you've got a child that loves sea life, that's, you know, that's another great one. And then the sports writer is great for the boys. You know, they, they, want, to, they want to have fun and then it's sporty. So, they don't have to worry about, oh, it's too girly. So this is how the hand weight works. This, what, what is awesome about this one, it is for all ages. So yes, it helps kids with OT therapy, but it also helps older, um, older adults as well. Um, and the elderly too. Like if you have hand tremors or arthritis or anything like that, and you need help with just stabilizing your hand, this one is good. It does come in different sizes. Um, get a measuring tape because sizing is everything. Of course, if you want to get one that's a, little, that's a little bit bigger, then that's okay, but you don't want to get one too small either because then you got to do the lovely returns and exchanges and it's just no fun. So we do have a size measurement. Um, so definitely check out the measurements before picking out your size, especially if it's for a kid. Um, I've used it, so it was super easy to use. If you guys have any questions or concerns about it, let us know. We can help you out to guide you for that perfect size as well. So this reduces hand tremors. It provides a pro proprioceptive input, and it is for all ages. So say you have a mother that... Um, you know, has arthritis or anything like that in the hands or um, what is it? The hand cysts. I know my mom had hand cysts, so she had surgery for carpal tunnel with hand cysts. So this is something 
that would be really good for her. So when it comes to therapy offices, this is good for kids that are little. This is good for if you're an OT therapy and you don't use kids, you have the elderly. This is another great one for that as well. It is not very heavy, um, so you don't get tired easily. Um, but it's just that enough weight to make you feel mindful of what you're doing with your hand. Um, Cause I know with little kids, it's mostly, they, they mostly just need to be mindful of what they're doing because they're all over the place. They want to do everything, but at least they can say, Oh, I'm building a block. So if you're building a block, they're more, you know, they're more aware of their hands. So this is the hand weight. This is the size small. I would say this is probably a little small for me, but also I bought this for my son. So it's meant for him. He loves it. Um, we use it in OT. His OT therapist loves it. Um, we put it in his sensory bag when he goes anywhere. Uh, so this one is another good one for OT. Or if you have a child that you at home are just helping them strengthen their hands and their fine motor skills, this is a perfect go-to as well. Now we also have the arm weight. Okay. This one will not fit on me. I tried it the other day, <laughs> so I'm not going to get it all the way down. I'm sorry. So this goes on your arm and it, again, just like the hand weight, it helps with um, just giving your kiddo a um, just awareness of his arms. Oops, sorry. We have a comment. Mercedes says, how long can these remain on at a time? Is there an off and on schedule with the weighted, like the weighted vest? These are not very heavy. That is a great question. Hey, Gigi. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a dork. Okay. So back to it. Um, these, um, I'm trying to think because we have used them for long periods. Um, I haven't seen, like, if my son has put this on for 30 minutes at a time because we're doing handwriting and he wants to be slow on it or say he's drawing something because, of course, we use it when he's just drawing for art class and stuff like that. He's had it on for 30 minutes at a time and it hasn't had a problem. I really think that it has to, that that would be based on the child and what the child can handle and what type of sensory input that they want. Um, because it's not as big as a weighted vest and it's not as it's not a lot of weight. Um, I don't think it's going to be like you're not going to hurt your child if he wants if he or she wants to put it on for 30 minutes at a time or they're really into building that Lego block, but they're using this. You know what I mean? If their hands aren't tired and you aren't seeing signs of them struggling and they want to keep it on, I don't see there being an issue. Like I said, I have had my sons on for 30 minutes at a time. I wasn't counting. I was just, we were working on a project and that's how long it took. And he didn't get tired. He didn't have a problem. Um, so that's a great question. I really think that it's safe. Um, but also, like I said, if your child is, if you're noticing that he is getting tired in the hands or it's just, it's starting to strain him and he's not enjoying it as much, of course, take it off, give it a break and then try it out later on if you're doing a long session with OT or something like that. Um, but I believe, I wish I had the packet. The small is like two pounds, not even two pounds. These are the, the weight, the hand weights themselves are not super heavy. I do love that because they're not trying to discourage the kid. They're not trying to make it really hard for them, but they want to help strengthen them over time. And they want to help, um, with just awareness of where your hands are and what you're doing. It kind of like the weighted neck pillow, it helps you center. It helps you with awareness of what you're doing with the, with, uh, the product as well. Mercedes says, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you for your questions. I love talking to you guys. It definitely makes it super fun getting to know everyone. Um, so back to the arm weight. Uh, this one is, I believe it's a small as well. Yes. And this one says half a pound. So this arm weight is not even a pound. Let me see if it says it on this. Three eighths. This is three eighths of a pound for a size small. Three eighths of a pound. 
So these are not super heavy. I understand with the weight, the weighted vest because those can get heavy and you want to make sure your, your child can breathe and they don't feel restricted and weighed down too much. Um, so this one is half a pound and it just like how our um, lackey kid weighted items are when it's distributed properly. These actually, if you can see, are also little tiny tubes going down. So they are also separated. So you don't have to worry about uneven distributed distribution. <laughs> I can't speak today. <laughs> um, so it distributes evenly. Yay, I got it. Go me. <laughs> so it distributes evenly. It's also only on the top of the arm. The bottom is the, the bottom of the arm is completely flat, super stretchy. See if you can see it's super, super stretchy not restricting and not itchy again as all as either like my son will use this he is big on itchy like he cuts tags now even if he sees a tag i don't even know if it itches him <laughs> he just sees a tag and says mommy cut it off so he does not like tags at all so when it comes to these they do not itch him let me show you the inside so this is what the inside looks like so it's pretty flush. The only little bit you have right here, but this honestly is soft. It does not itch. It does not restrict. Um, my child has put this on. I'm just trying to think. He uses this when he builds blocks, like if he's stacking Legos and stuff like that. I'm trying to think of how long he's honestly had this on. I don't think he's had this on for like an hour or anything like that. Um, but just naturally, I mean, if I can get him to concentrate and focus for 15 minutes, I'm really doing good. So, <laughs> so a 30 minute window is, you know what I mean? Is a good day for us if we can get him to concentrate for 30 minutes and focus. Um, but he has had this on for decently long periods of time willingly, and he hasn't complained. But again, just like every child, um, their, their fine motor skills are different there you know one might be stronger in one technique than another so it really depends on your child so you just kind of want to test it out and just observe and see how they are with the products and then when you notice what works best for them then it's super easy you know and it's just so much smooth sailing once you find out what works with your kiddos because i know Two years ago, I was pulling my hair out. I was super scared that COVID was coming and I was going to be having my kids at home. Skylar was almost ready to go to school for voluntary pre-K. So at right before COVID hit, I was like, yay, you know, kids are slowly going go to go to school and, you know, mommy can get some cleaning done during the day because having one kid at the house is super hard to keep everything clean because you clean one room, they destroy the next, you know what I mean? So then you're like, oh, fun, new project, next room. Um, so I was super scared. I was like, man, I'm going to have all these, I'm going to have my two kids. And then, you know, midway through, I was pregnant. So <laughs> midway through COVID, I was pregnant. So I'm like, now I have three kids I have to, you know, stay at home with all day. And with Lackey Kid and the other fidget sensory tools, it has made the stay at home homeschooling so much easier. It is more enjoyable for me and my kids. You know, we're not fighting as much. They're not dreading going from one, one lesson to the next. Um, so it's definitely been helping with transitions through one lesson to the other break times. If you see that, you know, they just need to just pause what they're doing and do a dance break and just get all that extra energy out. They have these other tools that help them through, through their lesson. Um, cause of course, if you're on a class connect or you're, you know, in a lesson, you can't just get up and do what you want. You have to focus on your teacher. So that is one thing we have definitely, we love about the flexible seating and all the lackey kid products and all of the hedgehog and handy things, all of these products and all these companies do super well with their quality, super awesome with just like awesome inventions, things that like I haven't seen before, you know what I mean? So then it's interesting and fun for my kids because they're like "Ooh, we haven't seen this either and we have searched for a lot of fidget products
Now, again, if any of these items you guys have personally used with your kids, I would love to hear about them. Um, please let us know uh, if you find awesome new activities to do with your products that we probably haven't shown you on Sensory Deal. Let us know. Super fun because we love to learn from everybody. Um, just new things to keep it exciting for sure. Mercedes said, sorry for so many questions, girl, you're fine. I am okay with it. <laughs> we are so new to all this. My four-year-old and six-year-old both have sensory issues uh, with their autism and both have low muscle tone. So we are working very much on strengthening, especially with school and daily activities. It's been a tough, it's, it's been a tough school year. Um, I am also very appreciative of all of your help. This is amazing. This is amazing. All that you are doing to help us with our kids. Thank you. We definitely appreciate it. Um, this is what we do it for. I was just like you two years ago where I did not know what to do. You know what I mean? And I was just searching online for anything sensory related. I needed to learn what my kids were doing, like what my kids battle with every day because we want to turn it around and make school and learning a positivity. We want our kids to strive. We really don't want to set them up for failure. We don't want to, you know, we want to help them over those hurdles. We don't want to bring them down. So with all of these tools, it helps you set your kids up for success. Not only do you feel confident um, because you are setting them up for success, but also the fact that your kids are going to feel confident. Like my daughter, she was super nervous. She doesn't like testing. I mean, she has a 504 plan. So this year it was a little bit new. She knew she had some extra help and she had some extra perks this year that she didn't in the previous years. Um, and fifth grade is, ha is hard. You know what I mean? I remember fifth grade. I remember sixth grade, especially being a female. You know, everything's haywire everywhere. You're learning about way too many things at once, not just school related, but yourself, you know. So when it came to her, she was super nervous. But knowing that she had hedgehog health and knowing that she had lackey kid in her corner in her backpack, that honestly made her more confident. So, yes, she was a little um, a little shy when she used her wiggle seat and someone asked what that was, you know what I mean? She was shy, but then she starts getting better at it. And like she had four different days. So she was with the same group of people for four days. So, you know, third day into it, she was more positive. She didn't care about what the people were looking at about her wiggle seat or anything like that. And she knew she didn't have to talk because she was taking a test. So she just had to look at her, her administrator or her monitor and let them know. And then they say, hey, you're not allowed to talk. So she knew that she had a little bit more backup. She had more support. She knew she could ask for that drink of water, take that walk down the hallway and back, come back and focus. You know, so she had all these extra things this year. So she walked into those testing centers with confidence and she was ready to go. And she came out of it confident. I mean, she's not a big math whiz. I'm not either. So I definitely feel her on that pain when it comes to math. Um, and she was she was confident going in and she did really well and she was confident going out. And that's what you want for your kids. You want to set them up with success. You want them to feel confident because if they feel positive and they feel confident, the outcome is going to be so much better. And then they're going to have a positive outcome. Facebook user says, Mercedes, look for tumble mats or a gymnast mat, uh, or a gymnastic gym that has special need accommodations and they can play and tumble while strengthening too. Yes. Awesome. Thank you guys. That is like such an awesome tip. Get your kids active. Uh, bounce houses. If you guys have warehouse style bounce houses, I know we've got a few of them in our area. Those are big um, playgrounds gym, dance. If you've got a daughter, I know my daughter loves cheerleading. Um, she loves dancing. She loves music. Any of those things just to keep them active. Uh, tumbling. I was, I did gymnastics when I was a little kid. I did a little bit of everything when I was little. Um, so gymnastics was a big one. That was awesome. Thank you so much for that. Um, tumble mats. If you just have a tumble mat at home, you can do tumbling if you can't afford gymnastics. Believe me, i tight budget here. So I understand I can't have all three kids, you know, in one thing. Um, horseback riding is another good one because you have to hold the reins. 
um, and stuff like that. What else? Swimming's a good one, but that's more upper. Um, with OT, you do need to work on the upper strength. Um, but we've also learned with OT that even if you have a pillow on the floor, your arms are over the pillow and you're playing a game on and your child is playing a game on their tummy. That also helps with upper the upper strength, the upper body strength. Uh, Mercedes says, thank you so much. That's a wonderful idea. I really appreciate your help. And Facebook user said, of course. Yes, the gymnast. Uh, that's perfect. Same thing with tap dance. Um, karate is more for focus, um, than fine motor skills. What else? If you have like a Lego area and I know <laughs> I'm big on Legos, um, Legos are great with OT. Um, especially if you have the mega blocks or the Dublo blocks, and then you can slowly go down to the smaller ones. Skylar, my seven-year-old does still have a problem with the smaller Legos. Uh, he just doesn't have that, you know, fine motor finger strength to pull him apart. So, of course, we need to help him with that sometimes. So that's another one. Kids, water aerobics. Yes, I agree. That's another good one. I was big on swimming when I was a kid. I was big on singing. Horses were my favorite. <laughs> so very active. <laughs> um, if there's any other um, suggestions, please let us know and we will... We will say them as well. So with the, I kind of squirreled, I'm so sorry. But the arm right, it is improving fine motor control. It provides muscular support as well. And it's a proprioceptive input as well. High school special needs kids get to do horseback riding. That is awesome. I love horseback riding. Super therapeutic for me um, growing up. And I love, I mean... <laughs> I loved, is it bad that I loved waking up really early before the sun came out just to muck stalls and feed horses and then clean them for their horseback riding lessons? <laughs> like, that's what I love doing every Saturday morning when I was really little. I was like in fifth or sixth grade when that happened. So like that, I, I worked for, for my riding lessons. So, I mean, just learning, um, you know, the basics. It also is great because you have another special bond with an animal and it's a big animal and you grow a special bond with them as well. OK, I could talk forever with horses. We're not going to do that. <laughs> so, of course, not all tools um, work for all settings. You you know what will work and what won't work for you and your students. So pick ones that will benefit you guys the most. At the same time, it is, if this is your first time seeing or hearing about these products, keep an open mind and focus more on the benefits that you and your students or your children need um, and what they're going to get out of these products. So if you have more of a sensory seeker, um, the fine motor, the fine motor uh, collection is great. Then you also have the flexible seating, which is also very, very great for those sensory seekers. All these products are part of our Teacher Appreciation Week sale, so don't miss out on the awesome discounts. To check these products out, please visit the link below. We will also have it in our comments as well. And enjoy up to 50% off selected products from Lackey Kid and its partner brands. Get those products for yourself your kids, or even a special gift for those teachers or therapists that you are most grateful for. Again, this, and again, go to the link and score the best deals for our teacher appreciation cell. And we have some more comments. Nature scavenger hunt. Oh, those are awesome. I love doing nature walks with my kids. We have little trails around our area. So we love to go explore and see different butterflies and stuff like that. They don't realize that they are strengthening because they're having so much fun. I had an Arabian horse, so I agree. Oh, I wish I had horses. Never had horses. I always worked, worked for with horses. Um, I even tried to go to, I even went to school. I went to college for it. Got, you know, a few degrees in equine business management. Um, worked for a few horse farms here and there. So I definitely, that's a passion of mine. Um, could you show the hedgehog again, please? Yes. Did you want to see the mouse? Well, I'll show you both. It's okay. All right. So this is the blue. Let's see if I can get a good 
Here's the spikes. So the spikes are kind of similar from the wiggle seat at the bottom. All right, and then we've got the lime green. Of course, I use the one that's active. I'll turn mine off so I don't get in there. No. Okay. There's that. And on the sides, they're a little bit longer. So it's got a different feel. So you have a few different type of sensory inputs on texture and touch. And the pink one. I love the purple one too. <laughs> like I said, if I could collect all the covers, <laughs> I would. <laughs> and just easy, pop on, pop off. Super easy to clean. And then here's our little hoglets, our mini hoglets, same texture, just worry stone style. Let's see. So you can just hold it like that if you want. All right. Was there anything else anyone wanted to see again before we end our show? All right. So if you guys, again, have any questions about any of the products that we have featured in today's episode, please feel free to chime in on the comments because I will still reply to you guys after the show has ended. Um, if you re watch the show, hashtag replay, and then put your comments and I will reply. No biggie. I will be on it. Mercedes says, thank you. This was a great help. Facebook user said, perfect. My students have a hard time with computer mouses. Yes, this is awesome for kids with um, just to stay focused. Super quiet. You don't have to worry about the click. Super quiet. So this is a fidget tool that is a silent fidget and it is approved for schools so teachers will love it you won't they won't get in trouble with it or anything like that actually the teachers might want one <laughs> so you can give them the deets uh, um for it all right you guys so let us know if you guys have any questions or any concerns or anything that you might if you know what your kids need but you don't know what would be the best fit and you'd like some suggestions you can also um, let us know that way as well. We would love to hear from you guys and we'd love to help you guys out to have the best shopping experience um, and just easy, stress-free shopping experience to make sure you get what you need for your kiddos. So that is it for today's episode. I wanna thank everybody for joining in, commenting and spending the evening with me. I really appreciate it. It's been a blast. This has been Sensory Deal Facebook Live. We will see you guys next week for another Deals Filled Thursday. Bye, guys.